I have mezcal. I have coffee, fresh coffee, percolated. I have water and I have a view. Over the hills around Oaxaca. I've moved from Laura's lovely place in the hills just below us uphill in the sun with my bags. Would you like to have a quick look around my new film producer and writer studio? It's like a Manhattan loft or rather a, a so what do you call a penthouse? So I have a comfy sofa and sillas, chairs. Uh, a simple but uh, well-equipped kitchen with a coffee machine and a, a juicer for my morning juice. Olive oil, sugar, salt, coffee. That's for uh, cooking your tacos on, I think. I'll, I'll give that a go. A fridge and a very nice uh, quiet bedroom. So, so long as the internet is uh, reliable and it's so far so good, uh, I have three days to write and uh, edit videos. This is the shared patio area, shared with my lovely French neighbors, Thibaut and Matilda, who have lived here for some time. And uh, we have a nice seating area an infinity view, you might say, and a barbecue. I've got my smoothie. I've also got my book, Being You, A New Science of Consciousness by Anil Seth, which is part of my research. And I'm going to sit here and read a bit, not directly in this chair in the sun because it's too hot for my sensitive skin. I'm going to sit here in the shade. But not only do we have this most lovely purple flowers, which the hummingbirds like to come and have a drink from, but I don't know if you can see on this tree, just a reach away, pomegranates. Oh, natural pomegranates. How delightful. Look how blue the sky is. And you'll hear in the background our friendly voice of the man with the tannoy who goes around in the car advertising all local shops and events. So I'm going to sit down and have a little break before I do a bit more writing and then lunch. Catch you later. I have a view of the Garden of Eden. I have some flowers, smoothie, tin amp, notebooks, laptop, and pen and glasses, gaffas. All I need to do now is write. Well, I have got uh, an apparently endless um, supply of smoothie. This is banana and pineapple yogurt and ginger smoothie, uh, which I have been consuming by the glass full uh, whilst uh, working at my book in progress, Mistaken Identity. I've been writing about qualia, our mental states, thoughts, real entities or not. Well, if I can get this to work, because I've not used this uh, juicer before, um, we're going to have a, a banana and a pineapple and ginger smoothie with milk and yogurt in a sec. Let me see if I can't get this lid to fit very well. So it might go a bit around. <laughs> Oh, that went very well. I'm 
just going to add some uh, yogurt now. This is actually a pineapple flavoured yogurt from uh, the local shop. I was lucky to find it actually. I couldn't find uh, many things like barbecue coals and uh, black pepper. Here we go. That looks like a very thick smoothie to me. And I think the job's a good one. Yum yum from the Garden of Eden. Cheers. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. I don't want to turn this into a cooking with shanks uh, video, but I can't help uh, but to show you. Look at the colour of these local eggs from the local hens, the Dianas. Look at the golden colour. I don't think I have ever seen eggs of such deep golden yellow oak yolks. Not oaks, yolks. And this is a bit of onion and uh, meat left over from last night's barbecue. Well, the onion isn't, the meat is. And um, I'm simply going to make an omelette for breakfast. So, here we go. Golden yolks in the pan. Simple as anything, salt and pepper, breakfast in a jiff. I've added a uh, tortilla, seeing as we are in Mexico, a little bit of tomato uh, with salt and pepper, coffee and juice, and that's breakfast in paradise. And this, is the Garden of Eden. This is the local swimming pool, which is really rather good fun, with the tall cypress trees, lovely landscaped and clipped hedges and gardens and a bar. What's not to like? just been for a, a short cold dip and now it's time to go and find somewhere to eat I wouldn't normally do this on a YouTube video but I can't resist it first of all there is the view which is stupendous. This is in the foothills of San Agustin outside Oaxaca. This is a recommended little terrace commodore cafe restaurant where I've just written my journal and uh, read a bit of Anor Seth being you. Drunk a little bit of Victoria beer is my Camarero with the Gracias, muchas gracias, with the uh, Wi-Fi code for later. But right now I've got tacos of pollo and queso, chicken and cheese, um, some fresh onions in vinegar, a, a salsa, tomato salsa, and some freshly made homemade lemonade. And I'm just going to enjoy the whole experience. Wish you were here.
linda vista un lugar para disfrutar a pretty view a place to enjoy except it's derelict somebody's big idea come to naught only inhabited by stray dogs and I don't know why I am so attracted to dereliction and not decay but disuse. I was very attracted to take photographs of the derelict Sheffield Keys warehouses before they were gentrified into posh apartments. I've not taken any photographs of the posh apartment. What's that doing there? I don't know what it is. I mean, this is architect designed entrance, very modernistic and abandoned. And the plants are taking over as they do even in Chernobyl, derelict. The great plans of men come to naught in the face of nature. Nicely planted trees though. Goodness me, I uh, am a bit maudlin today. I have just been for a swim. Hasta luego linda vista. What have we got on the barbecue tonight, Phil? Well, uh, as you ask, we've got uh, some very thinly cut uh, meat. I think it's cerdo pork, but I'm not sure. It could be cow meat. Uh, we've got fresh tomato and sliced onion, salt and peppered, warming on the uh, tortilla griddle pan. And we've got a tortilla from our lovely vecino, our neighbour Matilda, who's just bought fresh tortillas. But that needs turning now. Well, let's do it. Uh, it's got garlic and ginger on it. Oh, look at that. I think that might be just the way to do it. Cheers. I have to say that Appearances can be deceptive. That's not Jumex orange juice or Melacotton juice. That's actually mezcal with a little bit of juice added. T music playing on the tin amps when we're not recording. A, uh, a place to enjoy the sundowner on the terrace. And it's been a, a very pleasant and productive day starting with uh, meditation and then an hour of writing uh, my book which i'm pleased very few words but i'm pleased with the way it progress the way it's going i have also i've edited a john video where he contrasts um, human love with its desires and its frustrations with spiritual love which is as the title suggests, undivided. The sun has just gone down. Unfortunately, you've missed the sun. I was busy collecting wood for the barbecue. Uh, I couldn't find any charcoal in the shop, the local shop here in, in the hills. So I've, I'm making my own charcoal to cook the, uh, the meat. Um, I've got sardines as well, but I'm not going to cook that. Uh, I've got music on the tin amp, except it's not playing because I'm recording a video. And I couldn't get any any wine, any vino, vino blanco, or vino tinto in the shops. It's not a favourite here in Mexico wine, uh, and they were good enough to provide me with this. Uh, this rather special uh, penthouse flat overlooking San Agustin, 
with uh, mezcal. So what I've done is I've just uh, poured myself a drop and diluted it with pure water and that'll have to do. Mm -hmm. 